Hi, welcome to Church for Littles. I'm so glad you joined us today. We actually have a wonderful story from the Bible. And kids, I'd like to see if you remember this. If you do, say it with me. This story is from the Bible, so we know that it's... True! Yes, it's true. Good memory. Let's find out what our true story for the Bible is today. The house where Jesus was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room, even outside the door. While he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. So they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. But some of the teachers of religious law thought to themselves, What is he saying? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew immediately what they were thinking. So he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven? Or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. And the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, and walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, We've never seen anything like this before. For today's craft, we need paper, scissors, and something to write with. The very first thing we'll do is fold our paper in half the hot dog direction, if that makes sense to you. So we have a nice long line down the center, and we're just going to cut along that line. Next, we'll fold our paper in the hamburger direction this time, and then we'll fold it one more time after that the same direction. Now I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm using a pencil just in case I might need to erase. I'm going to draw a person figure on this paper. The trick about what we need to draw is the arms and the feet need to go all the way to the edges of the paper. So you can make your drawing to look kind of like mine. And don't worry if you need to erase. I erased a lot. It still turns out cute. Now we'll cut out that figure. Keep your paper folded while you cut all the way around. This craft is going to remind us of the four friends from today's story. I think you'll see why in just a minute. There we go. Now let's get rid of our scraps and then unfold our paper. Now we have four friends. You can use your pencil to decorate with if you would like, or something else like crayons. Happy crafting, everyone! Hi, boys and girls. This week, our verse is always try to be kind to each other. And it comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15. Oh, sometimes it's hard to be kind, but God says, always try. And so let's say it together. Always try to be kind to each other. 1 Thessalonians 5, 15. Have a nice, kind week. Hi, kids! 
For today's game, you get to do piggyback rides. Yay! You could even do piggyback races. Yay! Now, you have to be careful when you do this game. So make sure you ask your mom or dad first to make sure it's okay. This game reminds us of today's Bible story when four friends carried their other friend to Jesus because you get to carry each other. Yay! Have fun, everyone! Let's review our memory verse, okay? Okay. Repeat after me. Okay. Always try. Always try. To be kind. To be kind. To each other. To each other. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. 5.15. 5.15. Good job. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. And remember, I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus likes to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. In prayer I tell him so. Well, what a great time we've had at Church for Littles today. We're going to close our time by praying together. Kids, pray with me. Hold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for this true story about four friends who brought their other friend to Jesus. Thank you that Jesus can forgive sins and heal people. Thank you, God, for loving us so much to forgive and to heal. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us for Church for Littles today. We'll see you next time and happy St. Patrick's Day.